today we're gonna dive right into my TGIF of fashion. It's my four simple starting points that I give anyone when looking to transform their style. I am Casey and welcome to Style School. So my TGIF alone will have you start looking at fashion a different way. TGIF, pretty easy to remember, right? So today we're focusing on the first two, the T and the G. The T stands for thankfulness and the G stands for girl gang. Now you might be thinking, uh, Casey, that doesn't sound like fashion tips. I want the easy fashion tips about clothes. I know, hear me out. I can absolutely give you style tips on how to dress and trust me, they will come. However, nothing will change your relationship with clothes and help you dress better if we don't start with my T and G. Even if you have a stylist choosing outfits for you, without my T and G, which shifts the entire relationship you have with clothes to be more positive, those outfits the stylist chose for you will never project who you really are without my TNG. I can't emphasize enough how crucial this step is. To find your ultimate personal style and absolute joy in getting dressed, we need to create a super healthy relationship with our closets. Sound weird? Great, I'm glad you're here for it. So let's talk about the T. Thankfulness, gratitude, love for your closet. When I approach my closet in the morning, this is me. My thoughts are, hi, yes, I can't wait to see what magic we will create today. Thank you for being mine. Is this how you approach your closet? Probably not. It's probably more like this. Ugh, I have nothing to wear. It's so cluttered in here. Half this stuff doesn't even fit me. So if you're like the latter, no wonder you're not finding anything in your closet. Remember this, you have an energy exchange with everything in your life. The energy you bring to anything in your life will directly affect the result. If you approach your closet with negative energy, you only get back negative energy. But if you approach it with positive energy, it will reflect that back. So until you can do this, your closet will not provide the magic. Approaching it with thankfulness and openness and excitement and you'll be amazed at what magic it can bring to your style. But I get it. I get that this might not be easy and this is not your fault. You want to know why? You have been taught your entire life that what you have in your closet is never enough. But guess what? It is enough. It's so much more than enough. You just need the right tools and teachings to make your closet produce magic with what you've got. But before you learn any style tips, you must work on approaching your closet with thankfulness. So sure, out of habit, you might still go to your closet with angst and frustration, but catch yourself and switch it up. Say something like, wow, there's so much in here. Thank you closet for, prom for providing all of this. I'm here to learn how to make magic out of all of this, out of all of this. So just every morning, work on being very intentional about how you approach your closet. If you're liking what I'm about so far, subscribe below to get unstoppable style confidence. Now, let's move on to the G. Girl gang, your closest friends, your girl gang. Most people view their closet as disposable pieces. We go to our closet with that angst, thinking, I need to declutter this. Why is this all here? I need to get rid of it. But personally, I don't do that. I look at my closet as my close girl gang. When you see your closet as your close friends, your close girl gang, you have more care about what goes in and what comes out. You're careful about adding new pieces because you're protective of your existing ones and intentional about what you invite in. When shopping, think, Will this item bring energy to my closet? Will it mesh with the others? Or is it too similar to something else that's in here? And will it take energy away? Just like if you're thinking of inviting a new friend in, 
Will they get along with the others? Will they add energy to the group or will they take that energy away? Your closet items are like friends who deserve thoughtful consideration. Also, when I introduce a new piece to my closet, I take time to figure out where it fits. Just like introducing a new friend to your girl gang, you want to ensure it feels welcome and meshes well with the group. A lot of the, a lot of the time, you think of the friends they get along with best and pair them up. So when you bring new items to your closet, Take the time to find other pieces it will go well with, creating outfits right away instead of just tossing it in and forgetting about it. This mindset makes your closet feel special and cohesive. Treat your closet as your friends and it will bring you joy and confidence every day. Remember, your closet is not just a storage space. It's a place of creativity and expression and self-love, so we need to treat it this way. So start your day with gratitude and treat your clothes like your close girl gang. These two starting points will give you a healthier mindset and get you ready for the next step of TGIF. The I stands for inspiration. I will help you start to build your inspirational style guide. It's how you can get 10 times more out of your closet for free and get dressed with less stress. So start with these mindset tips and join me next week as we dive into the eye of TGIF.